Hello, this is Sue Ann Brightson, and I'm a Solutions Consultant with Beyond 20. Today I'm going to show you how to add a horizontal scroll bar to your forms that will be there to allow you to see the full width by scrolling left to right on that particular form. So that might be something that you find useful if you have users with smaller screens, say your typical screen is a 24, 27 inch screen, but you might have some 19 inch screens out there, or you have users that have their resolution set lower than a normal person would. Uh, some other things that might cause this to happen that you need to do the scrolling is your task pane is pinned. So what I will show you first, notice that my screen is made smaller here. I'm not in full width screen. And I'm going to just search for an incident and open up that incident form. And on the form I do have a horizontal scroll bar, but you can see how it's cut off slightly here. Even if I unpin my task pane, now that opens it up a bit more, but you can see that we're still not seeing everything to the right of the form, and I have no scroll bar anymore because I've unpinned that. So an easy fix for this is to go into our admin client. I have a blueprint open already that I will work with. I, If you don't have a blueprint open, make sure you open a new blueprint. And we'll go into our incident form and on the incident overview form we're going to make sure that we're in our base layout and then edit the properties. Notice here that we have our width set at 1440, height is at 930, and minimum width is actually quite a bit less than the, the actual width. So what we'll do here is change the minimum width to be the same as the the maximum width of the layout. And we'll save that and publish our blueprint. And now that our blueprint has been published, we'll close that, go back to our desktop client, and reload our definitions. I'm going to go ahead and go back into my task pane and search for my incidents and open up any of these incidents. And now you can see that we do have a scroll bar when our task pane is closed, which we didn't before, and it scrolls all the way over to the right hand side. So if we wanted to actually pin our task pane again, we'll still be able to scroll all the way over to the right hand side. So you may want to actually do that with your um, other portions of your forms as well, not just the overview portion because you can see here that this is cut off, but that's just how to make sure that you always have a horizontal scroll bar that appears all the way across your form and you don't need to do embedded forms or mess with adaptive forms in order for your users to be able to actually use the form to its full function. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful. If you'd like to watch additional videos for more tips and tricks, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Beyond 20 LLC.